Amr Abdul Aziz from uh, Al Quds city, and um, um, I want to uh, thank you all and greet you all for the, uh, this work that you are doing for the uh, sake of the uh, Palestinian prisoners and uh, their case. Um, I'm a, a blind person. Um, in, the, in the year 1996, I was still able to see a little bit to a, a very limited uh, extent. Uh, but I was arrested and uh, tortured for more, more, more than one month. Then I was uh, uh, terribly, in fact, tortured until I lost my uh, sight totally, and I was released to uh, a house arrest for uh, two years. Um, I'm naturally against occupation, against discrimination, against uh, um, all kinds of uh, oppression and manipulation of people and enslavement of people. Um, so this is what uh, provoked the Zionists against me. Um, seven life sentences plus 30 years because they believed that I had uh, visualized and, uh, and and watched for a group of Palestinians who went out to Israel to make a uh, military operation. This is what they claimed and uh, they did not have any proof against me. Uh, they only used the uh, secret file, they call it, the secret file that's given to the judge and uh, He's not a judge, anyway. We just uh, maybe call them judge, judges, but they are not. They're, they're really uh, criminals themselves, and they they only do what the uh, security system tells them what to do because they give them the secret file, and this secret this uh, file um, is not disclosed to anybody, even to the lawyer. Is not allowed to see what is going on in that file. So. Uh, at uh, the beginning, there were through, uh, three uh, uh, the so-called judges. One of them uh, said that I was uh, totally innocent, and he did not believe the story of the security. And two of them, um, uh, one of them uh, read my file and accused me, and the other one just voted with the one who accused me, and therefore they sentenced me. So I went to an appeal to the uh, so-called high court uh, in Israel, it wasn't a court at all. Um, I paid so much money, about 30,000 US dollars. And then after that, um, the, the lawyer, uh, he just uh, made everything, but they did not discuss anything. They, they just, uh, um, after um, two or three sessions, they said that uh, nothing has changed and uh, I will have the same sentence. Um, so, so it wasn't at a court at all. These are not prisons. These are places where people are concentrated for torture and for slow death. In prison, the prisoners, they try to help one another, but how can you become a physician, a psychologist, or a, uh, someone uh, who wants to help someone who is detached from his family and his kids, or? who heard about his parents who died. Or, um, it's, a, it's a situation that uh, makes someone wait waits for a day possible, either to die or to get a miracle to get you out of prison. Such criminals have full power absolute power to do whatever they want to do. They believe that they are above the law, and nobody in the world would hold them accountable for their crimes. So uh, they believe that uh, all the crimes that they do against the prisoners, the world would not know about it. And they isolate the prisoners. And I hope that uh, you will get the uh, message uh, and convey to the world, because I myself, I feel that uh, I owe so much to those prisoners who, uh, whom I knew about the situation, and I got the same experience. So how can I um, um, just uh, uh, tell their voice and, their, and their, um, um, make the, their, their message known to the, to the world? It's 
so tragic. It is not, uh, the, 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 the Israelis, they just rely on the thing that they, nobody knows. And nobody would uh, uh, inquire, and nobody would hold them accountable for such crimes. They told us so, so many times. They said to me that even if I die in, in prison, I would never be released. My body would remain there. And I said to them, Alhamdulillah, I will be released. And you will be, and you should be, should be and you deserve to be in prison. And Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm released. And, uh, inshallah, justice will prevail, inshallah.